morning. So we are doing a complete switching of the gears. And instead of doing more dozing today, Dad and I are gonna put in a water line. So let's go get it. Now you may be thinking, why switch jobs? Why not just finish the dozing job? And I am also thinking that. So before we go take care of this water line project, we've got to get the important stuff done. this water line we're running we're running it to the new hoop barn our plan is to not have to use this water tank over here anymore it's starting to fall apart and when we're loading sprayers out of here it's hard to load corn out of here so we're gonna load the sprayer over at the new hoop barn first we gotta dig down here and see what kind of water fittings we need got ways to go yet Yep, here it is. Huh? Here's the T. The T and O? Yeah. So we're going to take this hydrant loose right here at the bottom and we're going to splice into it with a water line heading to the hoop barn. But this water pipe's been here for at least 40 years, so might be a might be a chore getting that off there without breaking it. We'll see. But then after we do that, figure out what kind of fittings we need and everything. We're going to the local rental store. We're gonna rent a trencher. That way we don't tear up as much. It'll be a lot faster than doing it with the backhoe bucket. And that's where we're going, right? There. I think we'll break it. No faith. Twist that out there. Out right there. Oh, I need the bigger pipe wrench. Break it. Say so you're moving back and forth pretty good right here to the T. The elbow. Dad just had all the muscles and the cheater pipe. Find Bill Baker with a dairy radio. So the water line is going to run right to the corner of the building, right? Yeah. And then Dad will be able to pull a sprayer up there and fill up. We'll have a tank out there for it to fill while we're spraying. And it'll be on an automatic shutoff. That's how that one's set up. That way your tank's filling while you're out spraying. Oh yeah, happy birthday. Huh? It's your birthday. I could have birthdays. Oh. What age does that happen? 59. 59? Yeah. So Dad hasn't had a birthday then in 13 years. You got any stories of the old days? Everybody, oh, everybody liked your lime story. Oh, pushing the hell. There's a lot of stories, I'm sure. So a couple videos back, Dad was telling stories about tarp strapping the steering wheel straight on the old spreader and getting back there and pushing the lime out. That's my GPS. Before we go buy some fittings, we're going to go check our stockpile because every time you put in a water line or anything to do with pipe, you always end up with extra fittings. So odds are we've got some of what we need. Uh, we'll get some probably from Gallon, I think. That was a swing and a miss. So we're gonna bring over the skid steer because, well, we're gonna need something to push the dirt back in with. Bring it over, then I believe we're going after water line and a trencher. All right, to town we go. <laughs> Think you can operate a piece of machine machinery this large? I don't know. Challenge.
so we got the got the water line attached to our fittings so got that part done at least but now we still got about 100 yards of trenching Like my little zigzag right there. Yeah. I wanted to have a little character in it. Yeah, I take the hoe and dig down. I need a, I need about a two foot piece of pipe to come out. Help bend it. Do you need me to get some? Yeah. Are you going with me to take it in, or you want me to take it? I'm gonna run this trencher back in. We only rented it for four hours and we gotta have it back in there in the next 40 minutes. So take it back to town. Dad's gonna stay here and cover up some of this trench. Now we got the water line in it and get this buttoned up today. So we're also running an electric to that building. Will come in handy when we have dead batteries because that happens to us quite a bit. So we ran out of conduit, but luckily I have a stash of conduit. Pays to be buddies with, you know, electric linemen. So I'm gonna go get some conduit and we'll finish this project up tonight. And then we gotta take dad out for his birthday dinner. I mean, standard operating procedure. Change plans. They found some before I got out of the driveway. Keep my conduit. Stuff's worth the price of gold at the moment. Yeah, we're gonna have a moment of truce here. Holy crap. That's a, that thing's, thing's a little stiff. But Dad's gonna go turn the water on, make sure this thing all works before we cover up this hole. Because if we get a leak right there, I'd rather know it now. So when you dig a hole, just pull dirt out of the ground. You're interrupting the soil structure. That ground is going to be loose now when you put it back in there. And basically it will not be, it won't settle out for a long time. Unless you pack it a lot. It's like right here we covered up where we put the uh, the water line in. That water line's not exactly a foot high. I mean, it's not like there's extra dirt here. This will all settle down, but I'm going to pack it, or maybe dad is, with my rock sore or the skid steer. Just drive up and down through there and pack it down and speed up the process. So I'll pack it a little bit, it'll settle naturally, but it did help smooth it down some. But yeah, this will probably take Oh, by the end of spring, this will actually mellow out. Now, if we did this beginning of summer, it would take a long time to mellow out, but spring, it's gonna be wet and lots of rains. So that'll help really mellow this out, and we'll probably freeze one more time, and that'll also help. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. Dad and I are gonna go home, get showered up, and celebrate his birthday. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. If you need any Brown Farms merchandise, check the link in the description, farmfocus.com, and we'll see you in the next one.